What's up, Reverse? So I'm broadcast feeding my tank with a bunch of frozen cyclopsy. Uh, I'm trying to lure my new sun corals out. Uh, uh, doing a halfway decent job, so I try a mixture of like frozen cy uh, cyclopsy, um, the reef chili, and oyster, uh, the reef frenzy, or coral frenzy. Uh, it's doing a halfway decent job. The sun coral is not completely convinced yes. to come out yet, but check out who is out. Look at this guy. He just pop out of nowhere. Well, actually, uh, he actually, that seems to be his cave right there. It's out of nowhere. He just started showing up and really gracefully swim in the ocean, uh, swim in the water and started going after the cyclopses. So that is awesome because like uh, when he first went in the tank, I know he went into that crack. I have not seen him since for the past Okay, let's see. The box came Monday. Last Monday. Um, so I have not seen him for a week. And I guess after a week, he needs some food. Or she. I don't, I don't know if it's possible to sex uh, Yasha Gobi. And he finally came out. I have not seen or heard the pistol shrimp yet. And I do not see him in there so I assume that this Yasha Gobi have not found uh, the pistol shrimp who actually went all the way to the back the last I saw him like when he first went into the tank so I'm not sure what's going on there but it's really good to see that at least this guy survived so if you saw my last video I was pretty upset with um, his mates jumping jumping the uh, screen top and dried up up there and um, yeah, it's nice to see one of them surviving and is actually going after food. It seems like he's adjusting to the tank. This is actually the first time I've seen him since like you know, last week when I put him in the tank. Um, and he's still in the same part of the tank. This is awesome. Um, and also thanks to uh, you guys' suggestions, I went on Bulk Reef Supplies and ordered a finer mesh of the clear screen top. They apparently have two sizes. I bought the quarter inch. Uh, sorry, not is it, yeah, quarter inch. They have a one eighth inch. That should be fine enough. So I think what I will do is that um, now that I know he survived or she survived, I may try to get either one or two Yashagobi and hope to ha get one pair and I'll try to fish out one of these guys. I'm not even sure if it's possible to fish them out. Maybe, maybe I'll just get one first to see if I get lucky and get a male and female pair. Or at least like, if it was two male or two female. As long as they stay together, it's all good. I just like them having company. Um, and we'll go from there. And I am still holding out for the pistol shrimp. Hopefully he made it okay. But honestly, I haven't heard any like uh, popping sound that pistol shrimps are famous for. So I'm not holding my breath. But yeah, really, really cool news. I'm really glad that at least one of the guys made it. And just really a shame because the other one that jumped, he honestly looked a lot healthier. And he's cooler looking too with uh, yellow fins versus this guy got clear fins. But either way, it's cool, you know? Look at him, he's just hungry. This is good, this is good. At least I know he, uh, he likes uh, frozen mice, so I know how to tempt him out. And I guess, um, well, I added a lot of food to the tank already just to try to get some coral to eat. So I'm going to hold off for tonight. Um, and tomorrow night I may do the Tupperware method to get the sun coral to eat. Meaning that I'll sink a Tupperware inside the tank and just kind of flood the Tupperware of food just to make sure it's getting enough food as I slowly train it to start accepting food inside the tank. But yeah, uh, I got I got this guy from Coral Kings. Oh, King, sorry, King of Coral is late. King of Coral is in Frederick, and um, one of the employees told me that she has been feeding this guy every every day, actually every morning, every night. And um, and you can tell because like it is actually really plump and really healthy. You got lots of babies coming out, so. I feel good about this one. I feel good about a sun coral. Normally I stay away from sun coral because a lot of them look kind of sickly, but this one seems alright. But the highlight for today is definitely seeing the other Yasha Gobi doing well. I mean, look at this guy. How awesome is that?
It was a really, really happy moment. Looking backing up into that little tunnel. It would make my day if like the somehow the pistol shrimp just kinda crawled out, be like, hey, what's up? You looking for me? But uh I'm happy. Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna go get ready for bed and please don't jump. I don't think he'll jump because like he seems to have found a home. So if anything he'll just kinda of bulk back into the home. So I guess it's done eating. That was cool. Alright, reverse. It has been a great night, so I will talk to you guys later.